Hey everyone, what's up? It is me with another video. And before we get into this video, please like, share, and subscribe if you're brand new. If you're brand new, welcome. My name is Talia Flores. I'm a 26 year old born with spastic dysplasia. I am a disability activist, radio, radio show host personality, and published author of James Ticking Time Bomb and the Handy Capable series which is available now on Amazon. And I'll put the link in the description down below. And I'll put the link in the description to my stomping on TP pages and the radio show and so forth, for those of you that are interested. But for today's video, I wanna talk about a very serious topic as today's my birthday. And as today's the day that I get to reflect on my life and look back at the journey that I've been on with cerebral palsy and the lessons that I've learned. You know, I think back to the beginning of my journey each and every day, but more so specifically on this day, my birthday. And I think about what doctors told my mother when I only weighed two pounds, three ounces. Oh, she has a low survival rate she may not live past 24 hours. And I proved doctors wrong then. Then I get diagnosed with cerebral palsy at the age of two, I believe. And doctors told my mother, she'll never be able to walk. She'll never be able to talk. So don't hope for it because it just won't happen. Yet again, prove them wrong and navigate it through my life as a child, as a teenager, and now as an adult. And, you know, I have to say, I have to say, when I think about all this, the one sentence that pops into my head is, if the future me can go back and tell my mom one thing about cerebral palsy and tell all those doctors one thing, I would say, I would look at my young mom at the time, because she was young when she had me. And I would say, mom, this is me in the future. This is me in the future. And I did an article on the mighty about this uh, for my 23rd birthday, four years ago. And I would, look at, I would look at my mom and I would tell her mom, don't worry, because we're gonna make it through this, but also, I would tell those doctors in my mom, I would tell those doctors, especially those doctors, that cerebral palsy isn't a tragedy. It is a hidden blessing in disguise that you will learn many life lessons from. You will learn to embrace the obstacles and the struggles that you go through on a day-to-day -day basis. So don't you worry about what these doctors are saying because all of them are wrong. You know, life's what you make it. So you have to make it rock, regardless of the obstacles in front of you. And you know, that's one thing cerebral palsy has taught me in the past 24 years is that having a disability isn't a tragedy. But the way society reacts to it is, and the way we cope with the situations are. For instance, when I go up to somebody and I tell them, hi, my name's Talia, and they get to know me, and they ask me about my condition, and I tell them, well, hey, I was born with spastic dysplasia, a common form of cerebral palsy, and they look at me and they go, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, why are you feeling sorry for me? My life's awesome, and I think that I rock the CP to the best of my ability. And that automatically changes the narrative because now they're looking at me like, what? She doesn't want pity. She doesn't want, she doesn't want people to feel bad for her. She just wants to show people how she embraces life. And I think that's how we all should live at one point in our lives to just say, you know what? I have this disability. I have this condition, but let's not make it into to a sob story. Let's not make it into a tragedy. Let's make it into a life worth living because that's what it is. 
And yes, cerebral palsy is a pain in the butt when you have to get up in the morning and you get spasms and, and the CP wants to have a party and you have to go to doctor's appointments and you're struggling to find the perfect doctor. I would know, know that as an adult with cerebral palsy, but doesn't everybody go through challenges and obstacles that make them wiser, that make them stronger, that make them braver than what they think? So what my thing, what my, what my philosophy is, is having cerebral palsy isn't a tragedy, but the way society reacts to it and makes it seem like that's a tragedy and the way they label us and the way they treat us as human beings, that's a tragedy. Nothing else is a tragedy worse than that, is the fact that we're still having to deal with people that don't necessarily understand what we go through. And with that being said, y'all, this is Tylea Flores, now 26 years wiser, and see you in the next video. Over now. Bye.